everybody. In this video, we're going to look at APCSP topic 1.1 collaboration. All right, let's get going. To be honest, this is a topic I skip over in my class. The concepts here are mostly common sense. You just want to be sure that you get some practice problems in. But there are a couple of things you should know. The first definition you should know is that of the computing innovation. Computing innovation is any innovation that has computing at the heart of it. So a car is not a computing innovation, but a self-driving car is. A refrigerator is not a computing innovation, but a smart refrigerator is. Speakers are not computing innovations, but things like Alexa or Google Home are. Again, computing, a computer, a computer program has to be at the heart of what it does for it to be a computing innovation. Computing innovations used to be a topic of the APCSP Explore task, which thankfully you don't have to do anymore. The second thing that you need to know for topic 1.1 is the concept of collaboration or the idea of working together. And simply put, collaboration is good. You need to remember that. At the same time, collaboration is not magic and it's not going to make all your problems go away, but it's good and you wanna remember that as you're answering questions. In the questions you see about collaboration, you'll see a lot of overlap between these questions and topic 5.3, computing bias. Finally, the entirety of topic one is related to the APCSB create task, which is a big performance task you'll do over nine hours in class. And the one takeaway for topic 1.1 with respect to the create task is this. You are allowed to work on the create task in collaboration with other CSP students. CSP students only, they can help you write the code, they can help you debug. You can even write a code together as long as you cite that. But who you can't collaborate with is APCSA students, moms, dads, grandmas, family friends, tutors, and teachers. No help from them, but APCSP students, yes, they will be your lifeline for the create task. And with that, on to the questions. Question one, a startup company is designing a smart home assistant device. The initial development team consists entirely of engineers from similar technical backgrounds. Why might this lack of diversity potentially hinder the project's success? So the concept that we're looking at here is that collaboration is good and it will improve your product, which is A. But at the same time, lack of collaboration does not mean you can't do the project, which is kind of what B, C, and D are saying. In other words, you don't want to overstate the effects of collaboration. So your answer is A. Question two, a high school is developing a new digital hall pass system. The administration hires a professional programmer to build it without consulting any teachers or students. What essential aspect of development has been overlooked? So the answer here is D, consultation and communication with the innovations end users. For sure, whenever you're making a project, you need to have collaboration between the programmers and end users. C doesn't make sense at all. A is a trap because just because it has the word inclusion does not mean it's the correct answer. A doesn't really make any sense either. B is also a little bit of a trap in that it has the word diversity, so you're automatically drawn to that answer. But if you read the question, it says you have a single professional programmer. Maybe that's all they had the budget for, so you're not going to be able to have diversity and talents and perspectives of a design team. So again, the answer here is D. And this is an example of a question where it's kind of hard to study for, but you really just have to use your brain. Question three. Basically, this question asks what a computing innovation is, and the answer is C. Remember, a computing innovation is an innovation where computing is at the heart of what it does. This has been a big subject of APCSP throughout the years, and I've put this practice question here just to make sure that you know this definition. Question four. A team is developing a new social media app designed to connect local artists. What are two advantages of including the target users in the development process? So this is a question where you have to select two out of four. About 15% of the questions on the exam are like this. So the answer here, you just have to read it, is A and B. And again, this is one where it's going to be using your common sense. The concept here is that the collaboration is not magic. It's good, but it's not magic. C, collaboration making it so that the app will be downloaded millions of times. That's magic. That's not happening. Or D, collaboration making it so the program can code itself. Again, that overstates the effect of collaboration. Collaboration is good, but it's not magic. So again, your answers here are A and B. Question five, a group of students is creating a website for a school club. They decide to use something like Google Drive, where they can all edit the files at the same time and leave comments for each other. Why is this good? 
So if you read all the answers, B is sort of the obvious choice. Again, collaboration. A lot of these questions, you just have to use your common sense. B, ensuring all team members can contribute and stay updated, describes exactly what the good of collaboration is. A is related to security. C is magic. Again, collaboration is not magic. D is also magic, and collaboration is not magic. Again, your answer here is B. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.